Before we begin this video, I just wanted to give you a quick announcement. On the day that happened, on the earlier day, by the moment of silence, Kobe Bryant and his daughter have passed away on January 26, 2020. This was a devastated about a helicopter that was recently killed nine passengers on board and nine people all died, including the college baseball coach, the assistant coach, and by others, including the player and his daughter that is 12 year old. With all the moment, and now everywhere has been silent, and we all know that Kobe Bryant will not be able to be returned by the season. For all notice of wonder, all Lakers fans, Realize of the death, felt sad, worst, depressed, and heartbroken. Please join me for a moment of silence of Kobe Bryant's death for remembering of his memory with his daughter. Thank you. Now, on with this presentation of the NBA 2K20. Hey, what's up guys, Son of Beast here. And thanks for tuning in for another NBA 2K20 as we have already uh, did a review of the Orlando Magics facing against the Pacers. I wasn't able to be uh, making a video since uh, since the other days before, but uh, I, I covered one of the video up to make sure uh, if it runs good on prop before uh, making any uh, buffering the pro processing of the video of the moment. For that time, this is the next video that we are about to be seeing. And guess the good news is Victor Oladipo is back on the court. And he has played uh, with the Pacers in a long time and he, their team, Oladipo's team made a comeback win against the Bulls. So that was like a fantastic game. We can't believe that this was happening, a very nice game. Now, we have a next game to show you the Denver Nuggets. Nikola Jojic going up against Utah Jazz, Donovan Mitchell. As for that being said, let's see what the uniform will be. As I, I'll, uh, I'll put up uh, some statement, and this one on that team, That'll be uh, that'll be Mile High City, part of a version of the of each statement. I'm just giving you a different going on, and then I'm playing for Denver Nuggets. Here's the uh, here's our rock starting lineups for the Denver Nuggets: Monte Morris, Tari Craig, Will Barton, Jeremy Grant, and Nikola Jojic. But for but for those who are looking for says what happened to uh, Burry. Well, he's, uh, he's on the injured list. Something just happened already, and he was, like, out of the game, so he will not be playing if he gets back here. Jamal Murray, we're really worried about. And then Utah Jazz, we have Donovan Mitchell, Royce O'Neal, Joe Ingles, with Boban Bogdanovich, and Rudy Gobert. And for that time, let's, uh, let's have a look at the rest of them. Porter Jr., Michael Beasley, Plumley, Hernan Gomez, Vanderbilt, Van, uh, Van Kankar, Dozier, and Boyle. And on that side, we have Clarkson, Mike Conley, Davis, Moutier, and Niai. And with that, let's just get on with a uh, with, uh, start of the night. Team K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports. Let's take a look at the 2K pregame show. Hoop fans, coming up shortly, we'll see the Utah Jazz squaring off against the Denver Nuggets. Well, it was the Nuggets in their last game with a loss to the Grizzlies at FedEx Forum. They suffered an upset loss, perhaps a loss of focus, but you can be certain that won't be the case tonight. Guys, when you talk about the best players in the league to never play in an all-star game, Mike Conley's got to be high on that list. Yeah, he reminds me of a lot of guys of past and present. You think about Derek Harper, 
You think about Rod Strickland. Ooh. You think about Kenny mm -hmm. Smith. Ooh. Oh. You know, he might not have all the accolades, I'm telling you, but he's consistent. He's a leader and he's a winner. And he gets paid like a winner too, Kenny. S L N. Shaq like, like numbers. numbers. Those are some big checks. Uh, that'll do it for us. Ooh, those checks, I get it. Thanks for yeah, tuning yeah. in. Well, what's going on with Mike Conley? Well, he's got to get back in. He better do it things right. Man, there's something going to happen. And Utah, the Jazz never fail to go out of their way to look good and their best. Here was their entrance to the arena earlier on. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. This is the home of the Utah Jazz, people. We are noticing the between of the jazz part of a music on a note. But for this time, we're about to be seeing another home game for the Utah Jazz. And for Denver Nuggets, they're back right now at the away. They've already played three games at home and one away. Here's a look at David Aldridge and see what's on the sidelines. David. Nuggets coach Mike Malone is the son of longtime NBA assistant coach Brendan Malone, who was on the staff with the late Chuck Daly in Detroit when the Pistons won back-to-back -back NBA titles. Malone's dad told him not to get into coaching with this nomadic lifestyle and volatility. Michael said, I knew the pitfalls. My father said, all right, if you're going to be a coach, be a great coach. If you have a passion, you've got to follow that passion. Kevin? Mike Malone is the head coach for the uh, Denver Nuggets. He's playing really well with a lot of careers going on. Here's a look at Jeremy Grant this season, 11.1. And for the last five games, just 19.6. That's about 64% for the shooting range of three. But now, Joe Ingles found out that Boban Bogdanovich is about to be playing on the Utah team. Here's a look at the one more look of the starting lineups. The key matchup is Nikola Jojic and Mitchell. Game's up. The ball's up. Utah wins the tip-off. And we are on their way in at Utah, Vivint Smart Home Arena. Donovan Mitchell with a layup. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just Reeves Morris covered up by Mitchell. That he's seeing right now. He got he gets on to Craig. Here's Craig. Craig goes from Barton. He goes right back to Morris. Morris will take one. The block goes up by Gobert. O'Neal will shoot one. He's got one. Now here's Morris. Guarding up by Mitchell. Barton will take high. Rebounded by Gobert. Craig could have taken that one away. And backcourt violation couldn't handle the save. Wow, looks like O'Neal didn't get that chance. And now just over. Now with just 650 left under seven minutes. Here's Morris. And Brody Gobert will take a first personal foul. It's going to be a on Utah. Player. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense... So for Morris, how does he know if, there, if there's another Morris senior there? Well, there's no other chance. That's, that's the way it goes. Rudy Gobert it takes his first personal foul over the shooting. Free throw, free throw makes it in. Halfway through the season here, Brent, how do coaching staffs shake things up and keep things fresh over the long 82-game season? I think coaches who are really smart, Kevin, can be a bit programmable where they're looking ahead at the schedule and saying there are blocks of games here in which we might try to change some of our defensive schemes, maybe over this 10-game stretch or 5-game stretch. Or That's two in a row for Morris. Or two. Oh, yeah. 
and he's finally got only, two points. Do it on the 645 left. We talked about guys getting O'Neal against and, Craig. And, and sitting out games for maintenance issues and load management and those kind of things. Wait, why am I switching the man? That's not how it goes. Tough contest, but Craig keeps it holding on for a defense. This challenge for the next few months will grow the foundation. Barton, back to Craig. Capable of doing with that team as they go on. Roll over to left is Yoshi. Here's Jokic. Yoshi's shot. It's good. First two bucket for, for Nikola Jokic. A lot of fouls, so he's creating havoc for the defense. Here's O'Neal. O'Neal, covered by Craig. The hands off to Mitchell. Mitchell taking two. Rudy Gobert and the save that puts up uh, number two for the Utah Jazz. Under six minutes, six to four. Second chance opportunities and hopefully convert. Now here is Morris. Morris, right over to Barton. And here's Barton. Barton, right near the right near the out of bounds line. Jojic and a steal by comes up with uh, Mitchell. Mitchell for three. They get it back. They get it back. O'Neal outside of a wing. And to Gobert. Gobert shot swapped off to Ingles to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich with the shot. No good. Jozik with the rebound. A lot of a uh, lot of shuffling going on with another pass. Boris will hand it off for a second. Field goal percentage for the Nuggets, 50 percent. 43 for for the Jazz. Five minutes left. Now Mitchell. Bogdanovich will take one. But Nikola Jokic takes two rebounds. Good shot by Grant, and that was the assist by. For the whistle. Barton. Jeremy Grant wants to become a better shooter. Jones Just 440 left. In his catch and shoot game. Mitchell outside. Mitchell Covered by Morris. Finds McDonovich. Again, a number of three missing. Another miss by Utah. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've no shot for Barton. That missed again. O'Neal will come up to the line. Nice defense by Jochik and picks it away. Very good. Very good. Jochik. And two free throws will be taken for Jochik. Ingles has his first personal foul. That was by shooting, of course. So only Rudy Gobert and Ingles had both had first fouls in for Utah. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And, to this point on the season, and for Yoji, the dynamic duo He's done a really good with job. Jamal Murray. And I'll let you know that Jamal Murray is at the game. And no other players. They're not absent. They're just here to support them. And Joel Embiid's back on there, too. He misses the, Miss the first one. He'll break Jokic has so many tools it is to So Craig and Barton will both sub out. The, the Here's Beasley and Porter Jr. Really sets him apart at that center position. So three of each sub out. And Clarkson and Conley will come in. Mitchell Jordan helps still check down the board. Conley comes in for Roy Sony. And the second free Only throw one throw, free throw, free throw made one in. More than just a good free throw shooter, he is fantastic. Here's Conley. Timeout called by Jazz. Just 4:01 left. We'll be right back after this. So in 4:01 right now, after they made a talk. Now here's Clarkson. Mitchell founds one right in the wing. Picasso couldn't have drawn that up any better. Perfect execution off the inbound. Here's Morris. He just is off to Grant. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just over. He goes right over to Porter Jr. Foul's going to be called on Mike Conley. No shot. From that letdown in this one. Now Grant subs out. Plumley will check in. First foul for Mike Conley. Nikola Jozic right in the paint. 
Goes right by Plumlee. Plumlee with a layup. Amazing how much the offense has changed. Assist by Jokic. And the way Jokic can see the floor. Jokic, meant to be. Clarkson against Porter Jr. Screen trying to pick a quick. Clarkson's got two. Nobody, nobody around him. That's kind of like a devastation. That's what Jordan Clarkson did after he made a loss against his Spurs. Beasley on the wing. That's the Yojic. Yojic with a two-pointer. He's got five right now. Conley up on the in the middle. Morris against Conley passes to Gobert. Foul's going to be on Porter Jr. His first personal foul from Denver. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Denver Nuggets, meant to be. Denver Nuggets. Or, or I should call it the Nuggets. It doesn't matter. Two shots. Will be for his line. Rudy Gobert taking two shots. Shoot two. And if you guys noticed about the, the last season part, you guys would know that, uh, that we know that the OKC Thunders did battle off against the Utah Jazz. And they probably know that they won the game back in season one. But Rudy Gobert has a number of important to make and try to, to, try to make a comeback again. Gobert drops two points, and back in season three, there was the Celtics against the Jazz. Morris hands off to Porter Jr. 13-12, under by one. Beasley on the right. Five to shoot to go. Porter Jr. with a two. And yep, this is from Funley, is correct. Clearly excels. Mike Conley with a move, but no cut in yet. Outside Conley. Pass up to Moutier. Screen on Gobert with the three. Another miss for Utah. Under two minutes, 15 to 12. And try the lead. Find Supporter Jr. Tough contested shot, but he handled it in. The chemistry has been terrific, really. So that's four points for Porter Jr. Now Clarkson dishes off to Gobert, right to Moutier. And Beasley steals it away. A little tough one, but Beasley had it. Jokic just got three assists tonight. Jokic with just three assists. Very, very clever on that one. Now here's Conley. Blocked by Morris. It's still Jazz's ball. That's the last. That's last night. Only 12 points. Coach Mike, trying to make sure everything is clear, not making too many fouls. Conley in the paint. Behind the wing. Right outside. Almost outside. Six on the shot clock. Six to go. Have to get it in. Conley missed the number one. Porter Jr. right on the wing. We're just under a minute. 19 to 12. And he finds Yojic. But Gobert will make a rebound again. As another, as another miss comes up for Denver. Davis with the dunk. And he knows what he can't do to try to stop defending the slam dunk player. Morris with a cut. Can't get connected. That was a clever move to try to lose the defender in midair there, even if he didn't knock down the Conley Davis has another one. Davis has got his second best. 
Well, that's a refreshing workman's approach to the game. Davis there beats everyone. Morris and then comes in. Pass up to Plumley. He goes right up to Jokic. Here's Jokic. Five points. Five, five points a game. Five seconds. He kicks it to Beasley. Back to Jokic. Unloads from nine. Jokic takes the number points. He has seven. Only six rebounds. That's the end of the first quarter. Twenty-one to sixteen. We'll be back with another one right after this. Second quarter is coming up as Nuggets lead by five. The ups and downs of injuries and early on in my career not being able to be consistent enough to be considered a top guard in the league and making myself work that much harder to get my game to a level where I feel that I can compete against anybody in the league. And that's what I'm most proud of is just being able to withstand that. Maybe he's over course of his career, maybe not be that much better, but uh, he's probably doing really well back uh, with the Memphis Grizzlies. But now, this year, he is with the Utah Jazz. Anyways, we are about to start the second quarter, and Craig with the flow, and he makes it in. 67% for the Nuggets, only 39 for Utah Jazz. And here's Conley. He's played uh, with his last time uh, about the two seasons. Rebound by Gobert, and bounces up to Clarkson. Gobert, this is off to Davis, back to Clarkson. And still Jazz's ball with 2.7, with 2.7 the, the shot clock. Grant subs in from Plumlee. They were the ones who convinced me to keep my And they got to stay focused. They got to look up. You're good enough. Just go out there and show it. Shot no good for a Gobert. Seasons in Utah. That's Grant. Exactly what Mitchell this is off to Beasley. He's made an instant impact on the NBA. Beasley NBA goes right over NBA. to Craig. Thank you. Here's Craig. Craig with seven minutes to go. And here's Grant. Over Ingles. Grant up by Ingles. And it's no good. Jazz trail by seven. O'Neal against Craig by cover. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Pass up to Davis. Davis going to shoot for it. Davis inside. Davis did and not make the shot. It's no good. Plumley. This is on to Barton. Over Davis. Over Davis. And, and that's another point for Barton. And the Nuggets lead by nine. Nuggets are leading by nine with 6.30 to, to go. Physicality that we see in some of the joint. I don't know how many fouls we have here, but, but I'm not too sure uh, who, how many fouls on each team. So I gotta figure it out. Beasley to Barton. This is over to Grant. Those guys do that is because Grant with a nice move and he puts up another shot. Four points for Grant. We're going to use only one rebound to get inside your head for Grant. Things on a physical level that are going to cause you to think about what it is you're doing. The bear with the the sting. Ingles made it. They're shooting for him, Kevin. But in terms of something approach, there are things covered by. A Draymond Green or a Marcus Smart. No I don't know who that is, but I can't even say anything. Beasley. Beasley is not getting him out of here by Ingles. Here's Grant. Ball loose. It stepped out of bounds. It's Jazz's ball. Here's the Western Conference. Utah and Denver are both tied at 32, but the Lakers are still in the lead. So Conley, Moody, O'Neal, and Ingles are both subbed out. Mitchell and Bogdanovich, they want Ingles. Ingles wants Bogdanovich to be back. Beasley takes it over. Grant with the dunk. A lot of challenging playing on the play, but that's a great move for Grant, and he knocks the dunk out of his hands. Out of here. And we say it Mitchell time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Against Beasley, Ingles to Bogdanovich. Well, this is what happens. Bogdanovich with a shot. Eight shot, 18, no good. Five minutes gone by in the second half, second quarter, I meant to say. This is not second half yet, I know. Beasley to Craig. 
Craig, the Braver to Grant. Grant with a layup, and that's good. Grant, that's good. Eight points for Grant. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's O'Neal against Barton. Passes it to Mitchell. He passes it to Mitchell with the drive. The feed to Davis. Feed to Davis. Blocked by Plumley. Big athletic guys like Plumley. But Mitchell has it in. Before they can get their hands up. The Nuggets leading by 11. Nuggets lead by 11. 4-12 remaining. Barton. Surveying the floor. Surveying and Grant looking on the outside. Grant against Bogdanovich. Nobody around and Grant has an upper point. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of I guess they need somebody to be open, that's for sure. O'Neal against Barton. Screen. Mitchell no, not even covered. Mitchell on the outside. Covered by Beasley. O'Neal. O'Neal back by center. Five to go. Has to get one. And he's finally got one. O'Neal's got another point. Coach over there just asking for one simple. Now here's Barton. Covered by Ingles. Now here's Barton. Ingles finds. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Barton finds Grant. Close to 15 points a game on average. Right on to probably. And the ball goes on. And he stepped out of bounds on the line. That means it's Jazz's ball. Right around 25 points. For Donovan Mitchell, he has like 25.0. And his average percentage was 4.2. He steps on the court. Well, he looks to score. And he looks now to score. Now here's Mitchell. Now here's Mitchell. He's a guy Beasley covered up. Donovan. Right inside. Along by Ingles. Foul's going to be called on Grant. His first. From Denver. The Jazz have gone two for two. Joe Ingles as McDonovich made that pass. And yep, that could have been the assist for, for the Jazz. Two shots for Jazz. Number two, Joe Ingles. Shoot two. Shot. Free that makes the first one in. He's checked in for Utah. Barton comes in. And now Jokic takes out Plumley. Jokic. Barton comes out by Porter Jr. And comes in. And Morris comes out by Lane from Elite Beach. Grant. Here are the other players subbing in, subbing out. And two throws, two line. free throws are good. There probably no guys love really jawing at each other. What was your criteria? Well, that's for good for Ingles. And now here's Morris. Yeah. Jochik on the outside. It's kind of like it could be a whisper right. or, or a wink. To wing. Craig. You know, the way it, they it's look both at sides, it. doesn't it? And they just try to curtail anything that could escalate, Kevin. That's really what the record Screen coming by by Jochik. And a shot game went in. That's for Craig. As Clarkson has his first foul of the game. Clarkson says, why? Why is it on me? Well, he did not notice it. Craig notices how he handled that shot. I thought Yojik said, yo, Craig, you're doing fantastic. How did you count that basket? Well, he knows the rule. He does it out. He handles the ball. One shot from Cray. That puts 36 to 24 with 2.43 left. Jazz trail by 12. Mitchell against Morris. Mitchell outside. Mitchell trying to cut in. Kicks it to Clarkson. Kicks to Clarkson. Clarkson with the layup. Well, Clarkson can get inside. He's athletic to do that and then needs to touch in that area. Showed it off there. And Morris. And here's Morris. Covered by Mitchell. Morris was their biggest lead in the game. On the wing. Porter Jr. on the wing. Passes off to Jojic. Now, here's Jokic. Seven points. Finds an open man. Morris missed it. Another shot. 
And another shot for Grant. Puts it back in. He's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Well, he's so active. you got to box Grant out. When the shot goes up, he'll get to the offensive glass. And he rises up. Moving around by a ball. Now, here's Mitchell. Here's Clarkson for three, and it's good. Clarkson's got it back down to a single digit deficit for the Jams. That is by Donovan Mitchell. Look at the assists. Morris. Morris passes by Spire Porter Jr. Roll over to Morris. Back to Porter. Back to Porter. Joe Ingles takes it over. Transition. Here come the Jams. Madonovich with the shot and no good again for another three. This is what just happens if they don't shoot well. Especially if you're a player that. Yojic misses again. Just under a minute to go in the first half. Oh, Clarkson has one. Just nine points, four out of five, and only a one assist remaining. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively. This is our up to Craig. Make a play when you really need it. And Denver has possession. Here's Morris. Morris. Morris can't connect it with the shot. Mitchell rebound the ball. He's covered by Grant. Mitchell trying to look for an open eye. Mitchell with a drive, and it goes in. And that's the kind of move that will always pay off. Here's Morris. Like he was facing on that. Mitchell trying to cover him with the two man. Porter Jr. moving the ball around. Screen on Jojic. Jojic shot. Good. The assist on that one. A little lazy two Such here, but he did all right. The big man to stay focused with the Three shot. seconds, the two man. seconds. Mitchell, how how could he make that save again? Against that I don't think he sees. Well, that's going to be the end for the first half. With 40 to 35, as the Jazz are trailing by five. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, what concerns you most about the first half? Well, I think the tempo is in their favor right now. They're uh, they're fast, and they're getting up and down the floor. So they're running out of transition. Got to beat them to the punch. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Coach Snyder for the head coach of the Utah Jazz. We'll be right back, and the second half will start in any moment. Welcome back to Utah. As we are noticing the start of the third quarter, which comes up with 40 to 45, as the Utah Jazz are making the comeback in the first half. But for you noticing how Jeremy Grant does well, he knows how he hands it. He tries to save the rebound, and he knows it better. So Jeremy Grant has 12 points, and we are ready to start the second half. Here's Morris, covered by uh, by Mitchell. Barton looks outside, finds Jojic, so on the floor for Utah, and he makes the number two. Joe Jojic has 11 points. O'Neal up on the up on the center. Not Shag O'Neal. It's a different O'Neal. O'Neal with the drive. 68 percent to 47 percent. Offensively, I know Mike Malone, Jeremy Grant Mike with outside finds Barton. It's an extra smart for this Nugget squad. Pass to Passes to Craig. Craig moving along inside and he makes another basket. Craig has another points. Bench outscored by Nuggets. Craig has seven points. There's a different coach between Snyder. Oh, and we got Mitchell Ducker. There's a difference between a head coach, Coach uh, Snyder, and Coach Malone. O'Neal with the steal. Moving along. Foul on Denver. Morris has his first personal foul. 
is his first free throw. Wow, Malone never seemed to impress on someone who wants to uh, have an ugly uh, defensive. He notices and says, that's not what I mentioned I play on defense. What is going on with you? Not looking really surprised. O'Neal with two shots. Two shots. Andy, I can hear the bell. Looks like he missed the first throw. That leaves off with one shot remaining. Good on the and he did. That's one out of two for for O'Neal on the free throw line. Morris finds Craig on the wing. Finds Morris, moving the ball around to Barton. Craig to three. Dig it in for Josic. And the foul's on Gobert. His second personal foul on the Jazz. And Jokic, even though we look at his body and you don't think he plays physically. You know how Jokic would need to know about that? He knows how he can make that free throw a lot better. And a lot of rebounds are putting him, putting a lot of aggressive to make it unstoppable. Jokic with two shots. Shooting two for Jokic. First row is in. Now, Beasley is checked in for Craig. And along with others, Donovan Mitchell is subbed out. Conley came, came on the court to sub out number 45. And he puts up two in the point. So that puts up 46 to 4. 40, trailing by six. Conley in the middle by Morris. Break an ankle, almost put him out so much roughness. Ingles with the shot. Another rebound for Jojic after Ingle misses the shot. Crit with two slam dunks. That's another assist by Jojic. And he's killing out there. Wow. Conley against Morris. Conley feeling it out. Shot over Morris. Oh, tight. And another miss for Utah. Double digit rebounds now in the game. Only 44.6 in the RPG in the 19th in NBA. Yojik finds Beasley. Beasley against O'Neal. Beasley kicks to Mario. will take one. The three won't handle it. Passes it to Beasley. Finds Morris. Six to shoot. Barton outside. For the three again. And, it's and another Barton. miss for Barton. Here's Conley. Conley with a mad nice layup. He's finally got two points for the Utah Jazz as Mike Conley never got this shot in the first half, but the second half he did. Here's Beasley on the wing. Another drive for Beasley, and that puts him right ahead of 50 to 42. To play from a point center position. Conley against Morris. Here's Gobert. Gobert against Yojic. Outside Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich. Stolen, stolen by Grant. And here's Beasley. Ah, uh, Grant couldn't couldn't uh, couldn't make the fast That's break again, so he just didn't want to do it. Now. Beasley on uh, Barton, then Morris. And Yojic. Shot for three. And that won't put him in for a good spot. Conley with a, another drive, and Ingles, no shot, 
Foul called on Jokic. His first personal. It's going to be on Jokic. I mean, even from over here, you can see. What does he? What does he want to know? It, it does not happen again. It was right around the back, and then. It, it was a rim protector yeah, that just happened. Yeah, you also have to come out of the Jokic did not notice how he couldn't uh, he couldn't stop the ball. He straddles those two needs better. Than it was any not right in front of him. It was around the back. That also counts as a foul. Gobert shooting two. First shot goes in. So here's a never look. Martin and Grant are subbed out. Porter Jr. and Plumley are subbed in. O'Neal and Ingles are checked out. Boudier and Clarkson comes in on the court with only one shot for Gobert. No good on the second. And he couldn't save it, but Bogdanovich saved the rebound. To the wing, right? Clarkson to Boudier. Tries again. Tries again, and that shot goes in. Moutier's got his first basket of the night. It is so crucial that Moutier be very consistent. Trying to find somebody open team, like the for Yojic. On improving that shot. Passes up to Beasley, the three. Not a good chance to put up a number of number points. Parks in with the dunk. The dribble. Nice job with the bounce. 14 points like for Grant Clarkson and Clarkson puts it up by 11. Morris, Morris kicks the to Porter Jr. Going to hold the ball. It's going to be out of bounds. That's out of bounds and no call on Jazz. No call on the loose ball foul. But for the Jazz, they're right underneath the Grizzlies in the last place position. It's that selective with a tied place of 47.4. Yojic. Here's Jokic. The drive. Another rebound. Put back, put it in. And another miss by Plumley. Foul is on Porter Jr., his second personal. A great move for the Jazz. With his shooting, more spacing for the Here's what John McDonovich needs to know. When his shot gets a little bit raised off, Porter Jr. would know he could have blocked that ball right out of his hands. But for that, he blew up. Bogdanovich will be shooting for two. They are looking for a chance to tie this one up or take the lead. And that First shot won't go in. And, it'll leave and they're not going to tie it. Easy to see why Boyan Bogdanovich has solidified himself so as a key player. We're just going to have I mean, to do 48 and then the two pointer. In recent years, competes defensively. He's a player. And he sinks, and he the, sinks the first and one in. Is a confident, they are under by two. Can play either the two Here's the Morris by Beasley. Up for three. Got one. Beasley's got five points. Beasley has got five points in the game. Clarkson against Porter Jr. Gobert right to Conley. Conley to Clarkson. The block by Plumley, and they sent it back. Would it be would it be a very nice if we have if we put a dynamic duo of Beasley and Yojic together? We might. We may not know. Morris to Porter Jr. The shot. Yeah, that's good. Jazz calls timeout here. And that's the third assist of the night. 2.06 remaining. We still have another chance to have a look with another substitution in the points in the record. All right, just change it into a free two zone. 
And now we have some couple of substitutions here. Here's a look at the Bohan Bogdanovic points of the game. One thing about this, that his higher percentage rate was in 20, was in 2019 to 20. Everything that's been asked of All right, let's catch up with our All right, and now, well, uh, let's get back right now. We got two minutes left on the board. At Clarkson misses the three, and Jozik is on the other way. Screen on Porter Jr. And he's got another one. Porter Jr. has eight. Another uh, assist by Jozik. Moutier to Conley. Conley handles the three. Morris against Conley. Taking it away. Oh, and not a jump ball either. Porter Jr. Porter Jr. passes to Craig. Roll number to Joe now, Jokic. Jokic oh, finds another two. one. About three for Morris. Three for Morris. Gobert with, go with the rebound, and that and puts up Davis. another miss for Denver. Clarkson passes to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich with the layup. A talented score. Likes getting involved down low. And Morris has got the ball. Morris dishes off to Portis. Plumley. Morris again. To Porter Jr. Right over to Jojic. Finds Morris, and he's got one. Another assist by Jojic. Coming down to 30 seconds. Clarkson made the three. Looking for a tie matchup. This could be it. This could be tough one. Shooting the ball well. He's Plumley up. Makes another shot. That's good from Plumley. From that in between range, they've been. Here's Mike Conley. Clarkson. In the corner, it's the corner Clarkson. is Clarkson. Three again. That was the assist by Conley. I'd like to see more of that from Clarkson. Just get more Morris. assistance from the three point line. Steps up and knocks that one down. He's off to Porter Jr. and Porter Jr. has a three. Assist by Morris. One second. That's the end of the third quarter. 64 to 59. It's getting a little bit tough. But we're going to have to see about the fourth quarter when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Another NBA action is coming your way back to Vivint Smart Home Arena. The State Farm assist of the game. This one goes out to to Craig that was recently passed off to Jojic as he has that another timer to get everything done. And as for Jojic, he has 11 and has a lot of assists going on. So Porter Jr. has 11 points right behind Jojic. Taking a look at the Nuggets, they've got Porter. He's I need some order. Uh, I need some order. One defensive. Uh, they gotta do it the right way. Oh, Clarkson missed a three, and they couldn't see what he's doing. Wow. Finds Barton. Heavy contested shot, but Yochik has another assist on streak. Three times the ball comes inside. Conley against Morris. Outside Conley. Defensive breakdown, but another rebound for Yoji. That's number 15, just like the back of his number. To the left Passes line. up to Craig. Here's Craig. Three pointer goes in. That's the assist from Yoji. Eighth assist of the game. Eighth assist of the game. That was like amazing to check it out. Mitchell in the corner. Mitchell, it's a three pointer. I think we're going to have to fix it up a little bit more because we're getting lost on defense. Seems to be nobody Morris, standing in his way to no block for him to get to his spot. Two man covered. Here's Craig. Here's Craig. By Morris. With the shot. That's good. 
Morris has eight points in the game. He does not lack for confidence. 6.25 left, 71 to 62. Conley up in the middle. Love blocked over. Oh! Rudy Gobert was on a roll. Said, you can't deflect my ball out of here. You can't. And you can't foul me. That's what he was saying. Jokic right behind. Another point for Jokic. He found a nice, nice room, and then he made a good, uh, good-looking layup. In the corner is Clarkson. Clarkson for three. That's good. Looks like there's, there's still more timeouts to be made, but this needs to be switched off again. Morris against Conley finds Barton. Barton outside. Barton outside finds Yoji. Yoji Craig. Craig. Craig with the three. And the Nuggets lead by nine. Nuggets are leading by nine. And how many assists did he get? It seems like for Yoji. That's a lot going on. Unfortunately, Coach Snyder wants to talk things over. So timeout is called on Utah. The Jazz. Which stance do you personally hold most valuable? Well, it's amazing to talk about the fact There's the bear. Yep, that's the mascot we are looking at. That's what we need to know. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sub uh, Morris out and bring... Um, I don't know how many choice, but Beasley is the only one I need to get one. And, and then I'll... Uh, well, so now shooting. Hernan Gomez, uh, he never got a chance to do one. Um, I'm gonna sub out uh, Yojik and bring back uh, Plumley in. And so we're talking so much more about. And then finally, it will be. Uh, it'll be just that, uh, you know. Anyway. John Stockton who has assists, 15,806. Sears with 3,256. And now um, I have finished my substitution. And Mitchell, wow, he made that three in no time. Conley, Mitchell, and Clarkson. Mitchell looks for O'Neal and Ingles back on the court. Finds Hernan Gomez. Pass off to Beasley. Hernan Gomez to Beasley. Nobody is looking around, but the free second is called on Denver by Grant. It didn't work. Not Nothing just happened. O'Neal against Craig. Mitchell to Ingles. Finds a three. Uh, and Ingles can't connect the three as he missed another one. Hernan Gomez missed another three. That's the same thing just like Ingles did. Foul on Beasley and one. So another foul is called on Beasley. Uh, really hard again, but did not help him slow down. Wow, Beasley made that shot. I mean, Mitchell made that shot, and Beasley got another foul. Mitchell will shoot for one. And a free throw won't put him in, so he only has two. That's fine. And Beasley! Oh my goodness! Beasley just smoked that thunder out. O'Neal against Craig. Finds Mitchell. Right behind over Grant. And another miss by Mitchell. Plumley finds him right, Gomez. Stay on top of a guy like that who can play. Passes off to Plumley. Now here's Plumley. Over O'Neal. Over O'Neal. Plumley misses again. Fall, but that played more well to get a good look at 
Left a man open, but Joe Ingles had it. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. If you came to watch... 330 left in the fourth quarter. We're almost done right now. Locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Got to move around right now. I need to... I need to the basket by Utah. Hey, I need to get some motion out here. Come on. Craig gets the plumb look. Plumlee finds up. That's good as another point for Plumlee. Has six points in the game. Using it well. Jazz trail by six. Jazz are trailing by six. 80 to 74. O'Neal with it. Mitchell trying to cut in the center. And he overshot a little bit too late. Usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the time. Easily up the corner by Grant. Grant finds Craig. Out to the wing. He go finds Plumley. Here's Plumley. Test his shot. Could, can't get a rebound back. O'Neal against Craig. Here's O'Neal. And O'Neal with the drive. Timeout call by Denver. Stop the clock at 2:24. Need some possession to get back in the zone. He could tell his guys. Well, this is what we need to know. A bit. All right, so you know what I'm just going to do? I'm going to make the zone, and I'm going to switch it up into, yeah, Spurs 2018. Got to make sure we got to get the right play through back in the ever in the ever direction. And with that. Uh, I don't have anything going on right now, so that's going to be it. And now Jordan, player of the game, goes to Nikola Jokic. And he's put on a terrific show. So with that, 15 rebounds the season, 12 points the game, and and and, and nine re and nine assists going on here. That's like amazing uh, how it shows up right now. Catching up on the changes for Denver. That's a great, uh, great dynamic duo for. For Yoji. He's playing really hard out there. Looking for Beasley to find an open pass, but he's doing really well. Coming off to 224 once again. 80 to 76. Here's Morris. Foul on Gobert. And two free throws are coming up for Morris. Now, this is why they don't like the call. This is how this happened. They don't even want to know about how the body puts a pressure on the other player. Gobert has another foul. That's free. Shoot two. Morris, shooting two. First throw, but the hands let in. Just one more. That, one falls. that two it's shots going going to handle for Morris with Jim ten points. Six. I need to find out the corner to get there back. Outside Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich for three. No good. Two minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Grant finds Morris. Here's Barton. Bounce pass. Finds it. Jojic. Another point. Timeout call by Jazz. So with that, how could Jojic made another point? Well, this is what they need to know, the lessons again. So anyway, I'm just not going to bring out uh, Craig. I'm just going to uh, make it bring out Dozier in, and that's all I need to know. So Denver only had one switch. Dozier comes on the court. Mitchell against Morris. Ingles for three, and it sinks it in bucket. Morris. 
Looking for somebody to open the spot, and here's Grant. Grant finds finds Dozier. Barton in the corner. Finds a pass, and the shot clock gets turned off. So that comes up with a 24 second shot clock violation. Jeez. Yozik didn't find anybody to look at. Now he lost his control and didn't want to get back into the action. Here's Mitchell. Count that one. Mitchell has it in. 20 points in the game. Those here. Didn't handle the bucket in. So that. It's going to have to be a tie if it's going to be in. And there's a block. A back. Not again. But Donovich has a two. Try to take one. Morris, finish it. Leaving off with 30 seconds to go. Timeout called on Jazz. This is their final timeout. They trail by three. And this is what they need to know. They need to talk things over. So with that being said, 29 seconds to go with 80, 60, 86 to 83. Just 20 seconds. Reaching foul is going to be on Morris. His second personal foul from Denver. I'm going to fast forward it so I don't want to waste time. O'Neal oh, to Mitchell. Under 20 seconds. Back to O'Neal. Five to shoot. Five to shoot. Yes. Shots good. Final timeout for the Nuggets. Gets a feel for that floater. It can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where you're. Just the last timeout because this one we're almost out of time, but. Anyway, I don't want that one to happen, but I need to go for go over the instructions to get there. Gotta find someone, look open, pull out one active, getting ready. Right now with 10.4 seconds. There's 10 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Reaching foul. Personal foul is going to be on Donovan Mitchell, his first personal foul. After another foul, it's going to be one on one. And intentional foul will be on Joe Ingles. Now it's one on one. Number five. Barton will take two. First free throw is good, and that will put First free throw is good. No timeouts by either team. Tough to guard, given his height and his speed. And the second free throw. Five seconds. Three seconds. Here's Mitchell. With the win, and that's it. The game is over, and the Nuggets win the game. 87 to 85. This is how things are happening really bad after season three was a crush score against the Celtics. And then in season one, it was devastated. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Mason, your game has expanded some. What has that process been like? You know, you just learn something new every game. You have to study your opponent and see what's going to be open. But um, some of the constants have to be rebounding defense, bringing energy, in, and that's always going to get you a little bit. Well, you had the whole package tonight, Mason. Thanks. Kevin, back to you. All right. Thank you, David. 
Thank you guys for tuning in for another NBA 2K20 game. It was a competitive game between between the mountain region of Utah and Denver. It was definitely a very tough matchup. We know everyone did really well. I understand that really better. Anyway, that's going to do it for us with us tonight of the Utah Jazz against the Nuggets. Join us next time for our next game. As for right now, we see the, the Charlotte Hornets as Nicholas Batum are about to be taken on against Chicago Bulls by Zach Levine. We'll stay tuned for another game, but there's more to get there if there's another one down there to show you who will be the nuts to make a great shot. It's between Charlotte and the, and the Bulls. So with that, thanks for watching, and if you guys would like to see some more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And for that, that's going to include the next game on next week on Thursday. So anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out, bitches, until next time for another NBA 2K20 dial.